So remember when comedian Michelle Wolf directed her White House correspondence dinner attention to press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders? She's very resourceful. Like she burns facts and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. Donald Trump wasn't laughing. He tweeted, the White House Correspondents' Dinner is dead as we know it. This was a total disaster and an embarrassment to our great country and all that it stands for. Okay, so eyeshadow jokes are off limits, I guess. And yet the president still hasn't weighed in on a controversial joke, if you can call it that, that came out of his White House after Arizona Senator John McCain, who's battling aggressive brain cancer, announced he would vote against the confirmation of Trump's nominee for CIA Director Gina Haspel. The Hill reported the Trump communication aide, Kelly Sadler, responded during a meeting, it doesn't matter. He's dying anyway. A supposed joke about the death of a man who has served 36 years in Congress after more than 23 years in the Navy, five and a half of those years spent as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. You'd be forgiven if you're not sure which part is supposed to be funny. But this off-balance sense of humor is not a first for the White House. The man in the Oval Office has been setting the tone, like when he said this about Chinese President Xi Jinping. She is a great gentleman. He's now president for life. Maybe we'll have to give that a shot someday. Gotta love a good joke about the collapse of democracy. And then there's time Trump called Democrats un-American and treasonous for not applauding after a State of the Union address. The White House called that an obvious joke, too. And, of course, there was the time Trump called on his former Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, to compare IQ tests after Tillerson reportedly called him a moron. And Sarah Sanders told reporters... He he made a joke. Secretary. Maybe you guys should uh, get a sense of humor and try it sometime. I don't know about you, but I find these all pretty unfunny. But according to Sanders, it's the rest of us. It's our senses of humor that are the problem. Maybe. But when it comes to a sense of decency... That's where the White House falls flat. Maybe President Trump should try it sometime. What do you think? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.